Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to film a little day in the life at home in our new home vlog. Um, we've been here about a week and a half now. Um, so starting to get much more settled in and everything's going in place. And I have a few little things I wanna do today that I thought I might as well film because they might be quite interesting to see. So I need to tidy the bedroom a little bit before I do first task which is um, a sewing project that I've wanted to do and I'm going to make a little bed valance and I also have to take some more photos of some blouses that I've made that I'm about to upload so some nice little tasks to get done today. Flory is sleeping on a pile of mummy's trousers so I'm going to pop you down while I tidy the room up. I also need to go and do the washing up so I might go and do that as well. No, I'm going to do that later. I'm wearing a white shirt. <laughs> Let's do tidy this room, then measure the bed for the balance. Next job is to decide which fabric to use to make a valance. So to cover this bit of the divan bed thing, um, it actually doesn't look too bad just as a divan, but I thought it'd be a fun little thing to do. So I could either I think I have enough of this fabric left to make one. So it's whether this would look good as a skirt or the white would look good as a skirt. Mm. Look, I got these amazing Egyptian cotton sheets. Or I think this might be, oh no, this one's a sheet and then I got a few duvet covers for three pounds from a charity shop and it's proper Egyptian cotton, it feels amazing. And I just couldn't believe it. So I got loads of those um, to do something with at some point. I'm thinking floral now, I don't know. But I will use this as the base bit underneath that sits flat along the whole of the thing because it's a cheap material and you're not going to see it so okay so if we make the base first then I can just cut whichever fabric I need for the base. I need to actually draw this out because otherwise it could go very wrong. Okay, here's my really rubbish quick sketch of what I'm making. <laughs> so this bit with the hashing is the only bit that's not the floral fabric. So see how I need to make a border that goes around here in case the mattress sort of slips either side, then you would don't see that bit of fabric. So, how big does that border need to be? Let's do like a five inch border then. So I've cut out all of the strips that need to go down the side and I've sewn the bottom strip. Um, the strip at the headboard, there won't need to be a strip there, so I've just carried on the fabric um, and I'm gonna overlock them like that as I go. So yeah, this will be sitting at the base and now I'm gonna go and sew on all of the long sides. If you're wanting a ruffled balance for yourself that matches your bedding and you can still buy the same bedding you have, um, I recommend buying another one and just using the fabric to make a balance because it's very easy um, and hopefully it will look quite cool. Okay, we have the base done. Got the 
border going around it. Woohoo! Snazzy. So now I need to figure out how much fabric I need for the frill. Um, and then I can gather that. Now I need to do maths again. Um. gathering stitches now. I've hemmed along the bottom and this is where I start using a hell of a lot of thread. I've added the gathering stitches and I've hemmed it and it's all ready to be gathered up. But I'm just going to give it a little iron first. Okay, I am going to go and get some lunch because I'm starving and I need to hang up my washing on the line. She could just easily sleep all morning, couldn't you? All day even. lunch known to man. It's very much a leftovers lunch. <laughs> Got pesto pasta that I didn't eat the other day and Thai chicken curry. My M&S order just arrived as well. I ordered a few new bits from the rosy autograph range. I'm not sure if they're going to be comfy or not. Hello darling. I thought they looked quite comfy because they don't have any underwire. I bought two different sizes to try out. Never thought I'd be eating Thai chicken curry, pesto pasta and showing you underwear at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'm gonna go and carry on with a little bit more sewing and then I'm meeting up with my friend Candice. So that'll be nice. finished the washing up mountain. Now I'm going to have some cake. I made a banana cake the other day. I found a different recipe. Uh, this one's more of a cake than a banana bread. Although it's quite a similar texture. I'm just going to have a very thin piece. And it's got a really nice cream cheese frosting on it. Mm. So you have to keep it in the fridge. This is the problem with living with just the two of us and my baking addiction it's not very good because I have no one to eat all of the stuff because I have a very small appetite um, so I have to be very restrained on the baking side <laughs> here's my banana cake it's very yummy I put some walnuts in it I'm going to finish watching Josie's vlog that I was watching whilst doing the washing up Charlie's fan I just tried on the bralette from Rosie for Autograph and I was a little worried that it might be a little bit itchy because of the lace but oh my goodness it is so comfortable. It's such a gorgeous design and I thought I'd just mention the size I picked up. I'm a 34C usually um, so I got a UK 12A to C. I ordered the 10 as well and I just tried that on but it was too tight really and too sort of like suction e to the chest. <laughs> okay, let's stop talking about brows. I've just realised how dusty my fan is. God, I need to take that apart before I put that back on. This is my new sofa, by the way. 
I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace for 20, oh no, 30 pounds. And it's actually two separate seats um, that fold out into beds. So I can use this as a guest room. Anyway, now I'm going to sit here and gather up the length of this bit. And then we can lay it out on the floor and pin all of this into place. Do you like the new balance? I think it worked out quite well for you, don't you? Yeah. Are you waiting for me to put the bed back together so you can lie down? Is that what you're doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how this has turned out. It literally looks exactly as I wanted it to. And as always, it took longer than I imagined. <laughs> just put my glasses back on and I put my hair in a low bun so that I can have a hat on. And I'm about to go out on a walk with Candice and Flory, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably going to put a t-shirt on. I had to take my blouse off because I just got way too hot moving that um, giant mattress. Morning guys, it's now the next day. I had a lovely time with Candies yesterday. We went on a really nice walk and got a nice cream and Flory had fun paddling in the river. So it was a very nice afternoon. This morning I filmed a little makeup reel for Instagram, so I'll edit that later, but I'm gonna sort out a few returns and I need to pop into town to get some food bits because we're running quite low now. And then I need to take some more pictures of the blouses um, and get those edited and hopefully up for sale. Um, so that is the plan for today, I think. Oh, and I have to do some very boring phone calls. So yeah, lots of things to do today. Um, and I'm in a good getting things done mood. Press one to speak to our pre-payment team. For everything else, stay on the line. Hello, good morning. You're through to Jazz. You're next. Can I confirm your... I've got a little carried away with the stocks in the shops. <laughs> stocks are my absolute favourite flowers and whenever they come back into season it just makes me so happy. Oh, because they smell amazing and they look amazing. So, huge price difference. 
So the first place I went to is Sainsbury's and they were four pounds in Sainsbury's but I just picked them up because I hadn't seen stocks in so long. Um, and they were a beautiful cream colour. And then I went to Audi and these are 2 59 a bunch in Audi which is insane. So I'm going to get these in some water first I think. I actually went to Sainsbury's, Audi and Tesco's and the only reason I went to Tesco's is because I forgot baking paper and then I remembered that we really wanted to get some jasmine rice and they do a good reasonable jasmine rice. studio and I'm going to show you the new items that I've made that I'm going to be photographing. So they're both exactly the same design and they are both made out of vintage Laura Ashley fabric which is my absolute fave and I went for a very simple silhouette it's got a really nice simple square neckline at the top with some gathered detailing in the middle of the bodice and then these big puffed sleeves with a nice little cuff at the bottom. So I'm going to take some photos of these on the mannequin. Uh, I've already taken some of them on the other day. So this is the other colourway. Got the sort of pinky one and then coral one. I have more of the coral fabric so I was able to make more of those. And I was very short on the other fabrics so couldn't make those but if they go down well then I will probably make some more and try and source some other Laura Ashley fabric. Oh I just remembered this battery is dead on the camera and I didn't bring the right charger for it. Bleh. I managed to find an old battery but I don't know how long it's going to last so I'm going to have to do this very quickly. little monkey and do some editing. Oh you're so adorable. Oh. I'm going to end the video here because I'm just feeling very exhausted. It's only 20 past 3, but I feel so tired for some reason. Um, but I'm going to spend the whole afternoon sat on my laptop editing away. And yeah, if you're interested in the blouses that I made, then I will leave the link to my website where you can purchase them. Um, I'm not sure what time this vlog is going to go out. Um, they could have been up or after but I'll try and get it up at a similar time that they go live and if they're not up there yet then check out my design Instagram because that's where I post updates and when everything goes up. got my stocks behind me on my bedside table. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!